Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to work with databases on your Pine hosting servers. All you need to do is go to the server you want to work on. It can be any server. I'm just using an unturned one here. Click the server, then head over to the databases tab on the left. And then here you'll see two buttons, new databases and PHP my admin. I know this can be confusing to new people, but I'll try and break it down as much as possible in this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a database. So click on new database. Then you'll see it gives you two options here, database name and connections from. For the name, I'm just going to give it test and connections from leave as a percentage sign. Unless you know what you're doing, I'd suggest just leaving that as a percentage sign. That allows any connections from any um, IP to connect. If you want to be specific and lock it down, then you can put certain IPs in, but generally just leave it like that. Then click on create database and give it a second. And there we go. The database has been made. Now, the hard part is to get all the information from this. And this is generally what people struggle with. So all you need to do is click that little eye icon there and it'll give you all the information. So now the end point here, you'll see it's got a number and then a colon and then another number over there. So the first number on the left of the colon is the IP. So if any plugins or whatever you're using needs an IP, that's what you'll put in. The number on the right of the colon, which is generally 3306, is the port. So that's what you'll use as your port if plugins use it. The connections from is what you set earlier, so you can ignore it. Username would be the username that you want to use on the plugin. To copy this, you just need to click once, by the way, and it saves it to your clipboard. The password is the password of the database here, so you can also click, click to copy that. And then the JDBC connection string, you don't need to worry about. Some plugins allow you to just enter all of this quickly, and it's like a nice quick way to connect to the database. So if you know what you're doing, you can use that, but otherwise, most of the time, it's just manually entering in all of this information here, which you can see in future videos, such as how to set up economy. And then finally, the database name, this is the one that most people forget and they can't find, is listed over here. So this is the database name. So if the plugin asks for the database name, you just click this and it'll copy it. Then you can use all that information, put it in your plugin, and we'll connect to the database fine. Obviously, this is the delete button. So if you're tired of the database and you don't need it anymore, you can just delete it. And the only other thing to talk about is PHP my admin. What this is, is a way to connect to the database. I highly suggest using your own software if you can, such as Heidi SQL to connect. But if you just want to use a web based way of connecting to the database to view your data or to edit some values, then you can just use our PHP my admin. Now, a very important thing to note is you must select the node you're on. So as you can see, I'm on node J03. So you just need to go here and select J03. Once you've selected that, you can then put in the database information. So the username is this. So it'll just click to copy that. That's where the username goes. The password is this. So I'll just put that in. Then we click go and it'll connect. And then here is the database. There's nothing in it now, but once you've loaded some plugins, it'll generate tables and you can find them all here under your database. And this is where you can do all your editing and stuff, but we'll save that for a future video. Thank you.